Mr. Chairman. Senator Kennedy. Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to repeat what my colleague Senator Cruz said about uh, Judge Kasabai, but uh, he's not qualified to be on the federal bench. And, and, and everybody on this, in, in this hearing today knows that. You heard the same testimony I heard. He's entitled to his beliefs. Look, about 90% about of my personal philosophy is don't, don't hurt somebody unless you have to defend yourself. Don't steal other people's stuff and leave me alone. If, if you want to use different pronouns, that is your business. I may not agree. I may not do it. But that's your business. This is America. And you're free to do that. But this judge used his authority to require litigants in his courtroom to do what he thinks is politically correct. And he did that as a magistrate judge. And he'll do it as a federal district judge, and you know it. Once again, I don't care what his political beliefs are. But he has no right as a sitting judge to direct in writing litigants in his courtroom to stand up and introduce themselves by saying, my name is John Kennedy. My preferred pronouns are. Now, the judge said in his testimony that was voluntary. That's not true. I've read the order. What, and, and he said, but it's voluntary. It's voluntary. Right. I'm a litigant in his courtroom paying a lawyer $400 an hour to try to get my case resolved. And the man on the bench who's going to decide my case tells me to stand up and announce my pronoun. That's not voluntary. That's oppressive. And that alone, forget his writings, which Senator Cruz went through very eloquently, that alone tells me that he cannot exercise power maturely. If I could vote no twice, I would. And on this final point, when President Trump nominated people that weren't qualified to be on the federal bench, we killed those nominations. And several people on your side of the aisle, my Democratic colleagues, and on our side of the aisle did it. By my count, we killed five of them. Dead as fried chicken. And we didn't do it behind closed doors. We did it here in the committee. We demonstrated they weren't qualified. Now, here's your chance. This man is not qualified to exercise power as a federal judge. It's bad enough that he's a magistrate. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I, 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 I appreciate the judge's response, but we all heard his testimony, and we all, all have read his record. And sometimes people don't tell the truth in their responses. I'm not calling the man a liar. I'm just saying, who are you going to believe? His written responses, probably crafted by the White House lawyers, or his testimony in committee. And we're, I think what we're going to see going forward is more of this, these types of exchanges going on here today. Uh, when somebody's qualified to be on the federal bench, by God, I will stand up. I don't care what party they are. I was the lone Democrat Republican vote to confirm a nominee from Tennessee. I'm almost done, Mr. Chairman. Almost The lone seconds. Republican vote. But from now on, if we're going to play it like this, we're going to have a debate on all of these nominees and talk about their testimony in committee and, 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 and who was forthcoming and who wasn't. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You've been very kind, and I appreciate the extra time. You're welcome.